notice that you are very a warm, loving, wonderful guy. I mean, where does that energy come from? You know, because they're a talk show host and you see them and it's like, yeah, whatever. But you care. Please break it down. You know, I talk to my mom. Oh. I, I got to say, uh, if you want to look at what makes people happy in life, a lot of it comes down to the relationships with their mom. Because mm -hmm. I had... Uh, unremitted, you know, it, it, was, it was unqualified love. I always felt it in my life as I was growing up. And even when I had problems in my life and made mistakes, and we've all had, you know, we're all messed up, we're humans. That's what makes it so cool. Right. You know, we can make mistakes <laughs> and get back up and move on. But I always felt like, sh like th their love was there no matter what I did. Mm -hmm. And so my wife drew goes crazy because she wants to sort of hammer me about something I did wrong, and it doesn't actually ever bother me that much because I know <laughs> my mom still loves me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on the show, I see people in pain. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to hurt. I want to create a safe place for them to feel like they can begin to make a difference in their life. So I found that I can do the things I used to do, and I, you know, I still practice medicine once a week, but I don't practice it every day. But when I was practicing every day, especially, I lived and died by the ability to take the energy I had and share it with the people I was taking care of. Okay. So you hold them by the hands, you look them in the eyes, and say, "Listen, I'm here for you. All I want you to do is to realize that you're in a safe place, and we can make this happen together. Otherwise, you're going through life in, in, in a scared place. And when you bring an audience member on stage, and they got a couple million people watching at home." And a, you know, there are 200 plus people in our audience at 30 Rock mm -hmm. in, in the city. Uh, and they're going to talk about something really personal, like some sexual issue they're having, or the fact that they've you know, driven their family to bad health. You know, it's a painful place for them to live. If they don't feel like they're people who love them, mm -hmm. uh, and that caring doesn't ooze from your pores, it's not going to work anyway. Okay. Now, thankfully for me, it's what gives me energy. I mean, the reason I still practice medicine is because it makes me centered. It makes me appreciate what's really important in life. Mm -hmm. Those moments happen on the set. Listen, I don't mind giving you a lecture about parasites, mm -hmm. but what gets me really jazzed up is we're going to help people who re realize that they are the world experts on their bodies, that only they can make a difference. Right, right. They have to make a difference. I noticed the privacy screen on on your show, mm -hmm. and when I see people like get the balls to come from behind that screen and say, "Yes, this is me. That I need help." Yeah, yeah, that's a big step to take. Yeah. And people, but they feel safe. Yeah, pe people. You know, before they walk up on the set, I walk backstage and I meet them. And I say, I, you know, I, Oprah, early in my career, said, no, number one people want is to be seen for who they are. It's, and, she, and she, you know, she says, still to this day, I was with her last night because we just taped this, oh, we, uh, we actually taped the show, the, the first of the All-Star shows yesterday. Okay. So we were having lunch together with Dr. Phil. It was sort of interesting because mm -hmm. it, it is like sitting in the Yankees clubhouse. Right. <laughs> yeah. The All-Star team. Just right. right. Like playing with LeBron. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and you sort of, you see, it, and we were talking about this, and you know, she, she has been asked the same question basically by every single guest who's ever been on her show. Whether the most famous person, a president, or a movie star, or someone who's just trying to climb out from under a rock. It's, you know, how was I? Mm. How did I do? Mm -hmm. It's the same question mm -hmm. everyone was asking. Because you want some, uh, uh, some support, some validation in the experience. So I go backstage before my show and I tell my, my, my guests who are coming on that I just want them to be able to know that that's my only goal. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask them some questions, but they're designed to let them tell their story in their own words. Mm -hmm. And if it goes on, and that's why it's take show, I can always clip a little bit here right. and there. And if you see them you don't want to say, I'll take it out. Mm -hmm. I just want you to realize that we're here to do this together. And by seeing your story, the guest story, America's going to see their own lives. Mm -hmm. That's the whole purpose of the program.